Pause. Wake up, Tack! Wake up! You've been asleep for too long. Come on, Tack! Snap out of it! He's been like this for days. I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end, Locke! Oh, creepy. His eyes are open, but he's still snoozing. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Poopanunu people is taking the world's longest nappy. Well, if he's tired, I can take over being great and mighty, mighty and great. Great, great. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Great, great, mighty, mighty. <laughs> great, great. <sighs> mighty. I need helpful ideas, Locke, about waking Tack up. Right. Right. Mm. Gotcha. Hey, you! Wakey, wakey! Good morning, sunshine! Rise and shine! Open up those eyes of yours, sleepy head! Stop it, Luck. I've already tried that. Okay, plan beta. You grab their nose, they can't breathe, they wake up real fast. Luck, I think... I think he's turning blue! No, Tax always looked a little blue. Not that blue! Oh, he's got drool coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Jabalba? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. Hello? Anybody here? Break it. Huh? Tak, the great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman, Tleilok. What, uh, who are you? What is this place, and can you turn that light down? This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Several days travel from here is a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world, the Guardian who wields the world-destroying power of the Staff of Dreams. Sadly, the princess has no hope of rescue from anyone, except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. Uh, no, 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 wait! Hello! You're not supposed to do that. Get back here! Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. There's a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and... I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tack. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tack. Hmm. Something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. You will need training before you can complete this quest. 
the dream world is new to you, it has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my masterful command of Juju magics, I can raise up harmless chains against the dream world planet. You can recognize them by their blobby shape, so let's just call them blobbies, shall we? Press the A button to jump across this gap. You can jump further by double jumping. Press the A button twice to double jump. These glowing orbs of light are mana spells. Pick them up as you can. Follow me. Rotate the C stick so you can see me. Ah, can you see me now? Can you see me now? Ah, can you see me now? Can you see me now? Good. Follow me. You can glide by double jumping and then holding down the A button. See that floating lobby there? You must throw to destroy it. You can throw by pressing the Y button. To make your way through the dream world, always look to destroy these problems. Doing so will prove your mastery of a concept and allow you to continue. has the power of nightmares. He has summoned a pit fiend to try and stop you. The pit fiend has swallowed the rift and your only escape from the dream world. You can defeat it by destroying its tentacles. Behold, he has summoned some lonely imps to try and stop you from continuing. Come on, Jepalpa. A little bit of juju smelling salts never hurt anybody. <coughs> it's working, Jepalpa. He's waking up. Juju smelling salts do it every time. I remember back when I was wrestling. Uh, 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 what's wrong with you people? I'm trying to take a little nap here. Tech! 
You've been asleep for 16 days! So? Does that mean crazy people can come and shove their moist, stinking pit in my face? Yep, sure does. And that's not all. What? I've been sleeping for 16 days? You were dreaming. You kept talking about a princess. Princess? <laughs> what princess? That's right. I'm supposed to rescue some princess. She's trapped in the dream world, but how can I do that, Jaboba? Hmm. Well... We'll have to go see my brother, J.B. He's an expert in the world of dreams. Oh, well, we better get going. Wouldn't want anybody else to rescue that princess. <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking King Locke, right? Hey, I'm not greedy. I like Prince Locke, too, especially if she's a looker. Uh, Locke, there's no way... Uh, how can I put this? Uh, Locke, would you help out the wise and powerful shaman of the Pupununu people? By going back to my hut and, uh, uh, fetching my other pair of sandals. Uh, I have a very painful bunion. Dogs fetch shoes, Jabalba. Prince locks fetch princesses. Whatever. Ah, but uh, these are the sacred sandals. The most powerful open-toed shoes in the history of magical footwear. Really? Ooh, I'll need those. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. But, Jaboba, you don't have any sacred sandals. Maybe Locke will find me a pair. They sound fantastic. In the meantime... Jaboba? Down here! Yeah. What are you doing? Just hitching a ride. Now, let's set off for my brothers before Locke gets back. Let's go, Tack. We need to find a way down the river so we can get to my brother's place. Look for feathers. They will show you the way. I wonder what spooked these little guys. Woodies! These nasty wood spirits are the bane of all nature. The evil woodies have trapped that poor animal. Defeat them to break the magic lock and set it free. Ah, a juju shrine. If we can find the tiki, we can summon a powerful juju spirit to help us. There, Tack. That's the tiki you need. his belly to get a good bounce off. I'm here to help you, Tack. When I have some advice, look for my picture near the top of the screen. <laughs> Throw me over to that squirrel, Tack. Perhaps with a proper bite, I can get him to help us.
Congratulations, Tack. Your shaman powers have increased. Look up there in the corner. It's your juju mana meter. It shows how much juju power you have. Now you can use your power to run or swim at astounding speeds. Simply press and hold down the L button. As you continue your journey, you'll gain more shaman powers. I'll teach you about them as we go. Hey, Do you smell that tap? I think a skunk is nearby. See if you can find it. Summon you? You have to help me? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't get upset about it! <laughs> um, maybe I should find another juju. No! Wait! I'm so sorry. He has no brain. That's why I had to take over. Hey, knock it off, turnip head. The moon's not even out right now. I don't know why he has to act like such a clown. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. You can howl later. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I have to put up with. You should hope it never happens to you. So, is there any way you can help us go down the river? I'll help you if you get me another barrel of juju candy. I keep them hidden in that cave up there. Where's this cave, exactly? See that secondary section of Silverstone just next to the sunny side of the southern facade? Silverstone, southern facade, got it. I'll be right back. The path to the cave is blocked. What do we do now? Maybe an animal can help us. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excellent. We've reached the cave. Now, let's take a barrel to the future. Careful, Tack. These barrels are filled with juju candy, as well as boom dust. Quickly now, Tack. You must outrun the spark, or the boom dust will explode. Now, let's take a barrel to the juju. of three. Open it. Empty it on the ground. Okay. Now, what about some help getting down the river? First, give me a lollipop. Not him. Me. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Now give me a chocolate munch crunch bar. Oh, yeah. Greetings, weary travelers. There is no longer any reason to fear. I have brought to you the awesome power of the sacred sandals. Only they don't seem to work so well. Marshmallow Supreme and a nutty spuddy bar. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, maybe you two want some alone time, because... So what you're doing is freaking the lock. No, we don't want any alone time. What we want is a boat. I'm not feeding you any more candy. You promised us a way down the river. I want it now. No problem. Hey, Tack, come back here. Why don't you feed me another lollipop? Because you're disgusting. Grape, creamy center. <laughs> yeah, but well. Grape Creamy Center? No problem. Help me! I'm going in.
We made it, Jabulba. Looks like the hard part is over. We can take it easy. Time to just kick back and relax. Watch out, Tech! Ahead of us! <sighs> Jabulba, maybe you're getting a little too old, a little too nervous for this whole shooting the rapids thing? Not that one, you fool! This one! <laughs> Welcome back, Tack. Soon you will face more fearsome enemies in your quest, and I will train you so that you can defeat them. Follow me. Recipe for a juju potion. the beam. Ah, the Dream Guardian has sent a new nightmare creature to test you. This floating beastie is called a puffer. You can best defeat it by jumping up and attacking with a high attack before it can swoop in to get you. Should it clamp down on your head, beat on it with your thwark. These pieces can only be destroyed with a charge attack. You charge your attack, holding down your B button. When you are ready, release the B button. You can run around with your weapon charged, so this is a good way to prepare for a big battle. Some enemies will be extra tough or have shields. Don't worry, however, as you have the skills to defeat them. to put your training into practice. Ah, another new enemy. The Dream Guardian must be taking notice of your progress. This strange creature is called a Stalker. It can become invisible when it gets near you. You won't be able to hurt it then. So, you must defeat it at a distance. The best way to do this is to throw at it and stun it. As you draw nearer to the Dream Tower, you will see more and more nightmare thorns growing up from the landscape. These represent the encroachment of the Dream Guardian's power into the world. You should always destroy these thorns to push back his power.
We've reached Greenheart Forest. This is a dangerous place, filled with many high cliffs and rushing rapids. Be extra careful. Jack, are you awake? Uh, sorry about the flea bites, but it... Oh, never mind. Let's get going. There's one thing I've learned in all my years as a shaman, it's to always keep an eye out for feathers. <laughs> My, a woody shaman. They can be very dangerous, Tack. Be careful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Excellent attack. Your shaman powers are growing. Now you can enhance your attacks with Juju and dish out some big damage. Pull down the L button while attacking or throwing to really let our enemies have it. A boar. They are very territorial and at home in the mud. Try getting stinky ourselves. enemies with the Juju aerial attack. First, hold down the L button, then double jump by pressing A twice. At the top of your jump, press the B button. You will smash down from above and damage all enemies that are near you. must cross that bridge. We have to wait for a break in the woodies. Hold on there, that's so fast. <laughs> 
You won't get away that easily, Woodies. Ugh. Now, with your only means of escape destroyed, you have no choice but to deal with the warrior lock. Oh, hey! Not so fast. Whoa! Oh! Let's go easy on the lock. Oh. Lock will be okay, but how are we gonna get across that chasm? We'll need the help of a juju. Aren't you supposed to wait until I put the tiki in? I knew you were going to put the tiki in. I read minds. I foretell the future. Oh, well, then you know what I'm going to ask you. How you can cross the chasm, I know, I know. I sense there will be a new bridge. Great! In ten and one half years. What? Oh, that's too late. That doesn't do me any good. I know. You're sad. No, I'm not sad. I just have to... You're afraid of the dark. Uh, no. You're lonely. You feel like a lost little boy. Wrong. You cry when no one's looking. What? And most of all, you miss your mommy. Oh, great buckets of Jojo. He's reading my mind. Oh, yes, you. That is who I meant. You want to cross the chasm. Nearby, in this woodland, are three unusual magic stones. Hmm? Fetch them for me, and I'll show you how they can be used. Don't come back until you have all three stones. Tell me more, oh great Juju. Hmm. First of all, I have to tell you, I can't believe what you did to your puppy.
You must return all of Doc's stuff you borrowed. What do you mean? What stuff? That's enough. And apologize to all of the girls. It's <laughs> just joking. <sighs> it wasn't easy, but I've got the three stones you wanted. Excellent. Give them to me. There. It's just a little something I picked up on the night shift. What am I supposed to do with these? I sense that you want to know what you're supposed to do with these. Hmm. Well, maybe I could throw them at things. Perhaps you could throw them at things. Hmm. I bet with the right target, I could use them to swing across the chasm. Use these magical bolas to grapple a target and swing across the chasm. Okay. I think this will work. You're welcome. Thank you, great Juju. can't tell what I'm thinking now. <laughs> You're thinking, why am I pole vaulting when I've never done this before, hmm? And now you're thinking... <laughs> it is a long way to the bottom. Are doing well, Tank. The princess awaits. However, you still have more to learn before you can face the Guardian. I see that you now have a new lower. Excellent. This will come in handy. When you have your bowlers selected, you can throw them to bind your enemies and render them temporarily helpless. To bind with your bowlers, press the B button. Use your bowlers to remove the shields from these dummies. Excellent. Now, follow me. You can also use your bowlers as a grapple, allowing you to either pull enemies to you, or, in some cases, you to them. Press Y button. Grapple to an object with your bowlers. Grapple across to this big dog. Remember, Tank, that nightmare thorns represent the influence of the tree. Destroy them, so you can continue. Times are getting tough, but I'm sure you can handle it. Defeat these nightmare creatures and prove your worth. of the dream well never cease to amaze and amuse me. This creature is dangerous at a distance. Make sure you deal with him accordingly. Thank you. 
go to it. You should study from a distance. The two two look. Swallowed by an angler. Quickly now, fight your way out. This night is called an angler. Yar, in the Woody's dungeon. This is where they keep their prisoners before the big event. Big event? What's that? You'll see soon enough. Is there any way out of here? Perhaps. Guess what's in the box and I'll give you a key to the lift over there. <sighs> okay, how many guesses do I get? Three? As many as you like. I've got a lot of time on my hands. And I'm bored, so guess away. Great. Is it some... Extra clothing? No. Is it food? No. Um, maybe some books? No. Boy, this is tough. Don't worry, I'll get it. A goat? No. A baby goat? No. <sighs> A very valuable gold necklace that's sacred to the moon, Juju? Uh, or maybe... Wait, I got it! Inside the box is another box! No. Got it. There's nothing inside the box. That's it, isn't it? Nothing! Oh, yeah, it's a trick! You tricked me! No. Yes, you did. There's nothing in there. Come on, admit it. No. Prove it. Who are you calling nothing? You were never going to get it right. Yes, I was. I was just starting to think. I was thinking, maybe it's luck. No. Yes. No, no. Yes, Infinity. 
Sounds like there might be some woodies nearby. Shh, Dak. I need you to keep completely quiet while I assess the situation. Await my command. So, what's your command, Locke? I command you to... Help me! Come on, Locke! We'll have to fight our way out! Back to back! Come on, Tack! Fight these bad guys! <laughs> Amazing! More shaman power is yours! You can launch a devastating magical attack by holding down the L button and then rapidly pressing the B followed by the Y button. Don't be afraid to get past your attacks. We told you what you need to.
Gators attack. They lurk in deep water and will strike without warning. I think you'll be safe from the gators if you stay in the murky water. are asleep. If we're quick enough, we can jump across them on their backs. a new shaman ability. The Woodies use sheep to power their machines. Keep a sharp eye out for sheep treadmills. I think I could convince that sheep to help us, Zach. Why don't you toss me over there? <laughs> Sense a nearby animal that can help us. <clears throat> the hive is dead.
Ow! That was my shin bone, baby! That doesn't sound like luck. Hey, not again! You guys are killing my festive feeling! Party poopers, leave me alone! Hey, can you guys quit that? We'll need this Juju's help to get out of the swamp, Tack. Okay, everybody, back away from the tiki. You, yeah, you, move along, little wooden guy. You're gonna get thwarked. No, no, no! <gasps> Don't let the number munchkin take my tiki! Go after him and get it, baby! Go, go, go! Increasing shaman abilities have given you longer life, Tack. Tack, the Woody with the Tiki got away. I'm certain he's taking it to Woody King. We must find our way back to the arena to get it. Look, Tack, more sheep treadmills. You know.
Definitely don't want to get hit with a dart while carrying a barrel of boom dust. Woody King has the tiki we need. Go get it from him. <laughs>
Quickly, Tap! We must get away from the Woody! We must get down this river to escape the woodies. Don't let them take the tiki from you. Woody's won't bother you anymore. Now, help us get out of this swamp. Us? You mean you and me? He means me, the great shaman, Jabolba. Great shaman? You look like a blood-sucking freak. Yes, well, I am a bit. I can take you out of the swamp, no problem. Wait, take me too. I gotta get out of here. They've been all over the lock. Ow, 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 I'll lead you out of the swamp myself. You guys look like you really know how to party! There's JB's house! We're almost there, at last! It's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. He must really be a wonderful shaman to live in a crib like that! Ah, uh, he's nothing special. Let's go! Sleep. Sleep. Sleep? Who's sleepy? 
Not me. Me neither. Ooh. These flowers smell pretty. The flowers. We've got to fight it. Wake up. Uh, it's... Sleep. Sleep. Ugh. You are nearing the end of your quest to rescue the princess. She awaits you in the top of the tower. Unfortunately, the evil Dream Guardian has heard of your coming. He has set up tremendous defenses to stop you. I hope that the mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people is ready for a fight. In order to continue, you must use this catapult to destroy the nightmare defenses. What's a woody catapult doing in the dream world? The dream world is a mixture of many things. You must have seen a catapult in the real world and brought it with you. In the dream world, your mind makes it real. Really? Really. Cool. Indeed. of the tentacles, we can get closer to our goal. Juju power to gain speed.
Easy. your access to the Guardian Tower in your next week. Let's get a move on, Tack. What happened to us? I think someone's trying to keep us from reaching my brother. Should we wake them up? We could, if we want to have a couple of babbling blockheads following us around. They're tired. They need their sleep. I like your way of thinking, Tack. Let's go. Behold, Skyrock Crater. Long ago, a piece of the sky fell here to carve out these impressive forms. There's my brother's house. Let's head down without delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
dogs. Just step tack. Your shaman abilities continue to improve. If you keep this up, you'll soon be as powerful as, well, as me. But don't get any ideas. <clears throat> anyway, with your new powers, you can launch a magical attack by holding down the L button and then rapidly pressing the B, followed by the X button. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, great. More frogs. Current in that river looks very strong, Tack. Be careful. My brother's house is at the top of the generator. Looks like the generator is working, but it is covered in moss. Very slippery. Be careful. be at his laboratory. All work and no play, that JB. It's just shamanism, shamanism, shamanism. Seems kind of dull to me. Hello? Somebody there? Help! I'm trapped! Power parasites! They're everywhere! Calm down, JB. It's me, Jabolba. What's going on? They they've stuck me to the wall. I think one of them wants to eat my face. Hold on, JB. We'll be right there. I'll buzz you in. Take the lift. Hurry! Get here as fast as you can. Well, here we are inside JB's planetarium. He surely seemed upset on the intercom, didn't he? Keep your eyes peeled. JB has a thing for a type of juju he calls technology. Such juju is often activated by switches. Hit them to make things work. Ah, JB is using these glowing conduits to power his equipment, but something appears to have gunked up the flow. <laughs>
Unifu Cannon. JP must have imported this from the mines of Fumbar just to get rid of all this junk. In the juju is that thing.
keep me coming out of that egg. Oh my, what a marvelous little critter. It's almost as cute as, well, never mind. have been here.
<laughs> Those power parasites are the worst. I set traps for them, but their queen had a bigger brain this year and seeked her grubs on me. It was terrible. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh... Tack. Tack. I'm JB, Jabulba's brother. Huh, that's funny. What's funny? Well, your name, JB. And you're Jabulba's brother. It's his same initials. That's not funny. That is my name, Jabulba's brother. Mother didn't even bother to think of a name for me. Oh, can it, JB? Mom was very busy. Dad was off fighting those wars with the Black Mist, lost all of his fingers. Tech, go and turn on the power. I would have been happy with Dave. Brother Jabulba told me about your dream. It's strange. I've never heard about such a princess or of any dream juju. I thought you were an expert in the world of dreams, JB. Well, at least I'm not a mummy's boy with a fancy name. Please, keep focused on the problem, and I'll call you whatever you like, Dave. Tack, sit down in the sleep seat. This device will allow us to monitor your progress in the dream world. Perhaps we can find out about this dream juju and learn more about this mysterious princess. Well, I just took a nap. I don't think I could fall asleep again. Maybe in a few hours after a warm glass of milk you and... just need to relax. 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 Sleep now! Somebody help me! Hey, you! Down there! Can I get some help? Hurry! Help! All right, all right! Moment. Keep your princess pants on! Help! I need some help! No one's helping me! Help! Come on, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people's prophecy! <laughs> Show him who's boss!
are you? I know, you don't know how to thank me. That's okay. I'm glad you're free, and I really hope that... Oh, I do know how to thank you. You do? I do. Mm. You know, you smell funny. Actually, I stink. <laughs> Pins and needles? What is this, Dream Juju? Tag, remember when I told you that you would learn something about yourself? Yeah? Well, what you just learned is... You're an idiot! Claylock! In the flesh! I used you, Tag, to defeat the Dream Guardian so I could steal the Staff of Dreams. Pins, needles, the staff... Ugh. Oh, just get the stick. Not so fast, punks. That's the staff of dreams. Ooh, look at the ugly old prunes. We're in the wrong place, Needles. Tear us away out of this dump. Tack, you've got to get that back. You can't let the staff of dreams get into the wrong hands. Why, if those two had evil intentions... Like helping Tlaylock tear open the world of nightmares. No one would be that evil. Don't be naive, Dave. How can I go after them? That rift they opened. It led to the shrine of the Pachyderm Noggin, which, so legend has it, is guarded by the giant misunderstanding. A giant? A real giant? Yes, they say he is very powerful. Which reminds me, since the power is on, you can use the banister to follow them. I've set the destination. Good luck. Oh, and don't forget to duck! Ow! Moon Juju, what are you doing here? I've come to help you, Tak. But we have to hurry. I can only stay a short time in the world of dreams. Here, Tak, choose a spirit animal to enhance your powers. Jaguar. Piranha. Dragon. Eagle. Which one would you pick, Moon Juju? The choice is pretty obvious, Tak. You'd be a fool and a total idiot loser not to choose the... What? The what? Hello? Moon Juju? This is a new look for you. It's not what I would have picked, but I suppose it will have to do. To evoke your new spirit animal attack, you must first make certain that you have plenty of juju. Then, hold down the L button and the X button together to charge up. But never mind that right now. We must prevent pins and needles from delivering the staff of nightmares to Tlaylock. <laughs>
Especially excited about. Now you can imbue me with juju energy, and I can be used as a long range weapon. Whoever said fleas are harmless? <laughs> All right, here's what you do. First, ready me as you always do. Then, hold down the L button and throw me by pressing the A button.
Be careful, Tag. These glowing faces on the wall can only mean one thing. Dark traps. to save a princess name's Locke. You're like one of the undead, right? You want to tag along? Wow. Could I, your highness? I mean, I've never partied with royals! Let's party on. The rift is open. It looks fragile, though. Ready to move, Captain. Don't you need to move? I doubt it will last long. Run, Captain. Run! 
The Packager Rift is collapsing behind us. There should be an exit nearby. Should be an exit nearby. to rebuild this rift so we can continue the chase. The rift piece has been absorbed by your staff. All right! Woo! here. The moon juju asked us to help you, Tack. Fauna and I are here to grant you the power to transform into an animal. Oh, great! I could really use that. You can either become a big, nasty bear or a happy little squirrel. Now, there's no pressure to choose either one, although the squirrel is very good. Take your time and think about it so oh, you can... forget that. Of course he wants to be a bear. Bears are big, hairy butt kickers. But if Tack is that big, they'll see him coming from miles away. I think he'd prefer to be a squirrel. Well, I think he'd prefer to be a bear. Hey, squirrel. Good bear. Good enough. Squirrel. Bear. squirrel. Good enough. I really got to run now. Bye. Anyway, it looks like you'll be able to transform into either a bear or a squirrel. All you need to do is be near an animal totem that looks like the animal you want to become, and then press the X button. Remember, you burn mana while you're in animal form, so plan ahead. Good luck, Tech. Ah, here is a totem. Remember what Flora said. You can turn into this animal by pressing the X button. Just make certain that you have plenty of mana. If you run out, you turn back into your normal poop self. Collect enough rift bits, and we can rebuild the rift and continue to chase pins and needles. Remember, Tech, we must remake the rift by collecting all the smaller rift pieces. Let's 
Juju Shrine! We're saved! We made it! <laughs> I thought we were goners. Volcanoes, vampire bats, those zombie ninjas of the black mist. We have been through it all. Better wait here, my man. I'll go contact the Juju. No, wait, but I'm a Juju! I can help us find Tech and Jaboba! Cool, cool. But why don't I contact somebody with some real Juju power? And yeah, we need something a little better than a pinata or a punch bowl, my, uh... Party going, compadre. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're killing me, but you're right. Oh, great Juju. We humbly summon your August Majesty to this sacred place. So this is we... so exciting. Wow! Hello! We're gonna get a really fantastic Juju! I'll be so honored to meet him! Don't interrupt the summoning. You might tick him off. Okay, okay. Anyway. The most impressive of the Jujus. We summon you now. You? Hey, it is me. I am the best. I am the greatest. I am so happy to meet me. Let's celebrate. Punch for everybody. Get ready, Tack. It looks like it's time for another run through the Rift World.
This is Hotfoot Springs. It is aptly named, as you'll soon see. That looks like gator infested water. Be careful. Look, Tack, a juju shrine. Let's see if we can summon flora and fauna again to help us. are really beginning to annoy me. Look, a frog totem. We need to summon flora and fauna so that we can gain the ability to transform. Oh, yeah. Woo! your help. Are there any more animals I could change into? Certainly, Tack. I can give you the choice of two more animals. Your first choice is a frog. They're kind of yucky, but they've got really long tongues, so you'll probably be able to swing on things. Also, you'll be able to swim really fast to avoid nasty things like gators. Plus, they're green. I like green. Well, because I look good. The other animal you can become is a boar. They're dirty, stinky pigs who are right at home in the mud. You'll be able to break stuff and charge enemies. If it's what you like to do, then <laughs> knock it off, Fauna! Can't you see I am trying to help Tack with his quest? Help him! You can turn into a froggy Tack. Ooh, I look good in green, Tack. You're not helping him! More like boring him! Oh, so I'm just a big boar now, am I? Yep, pretty much. So, who's the boar now? Anyway, choose whichever one you want. You'll have much better success crossing mud if you transform into a boar. You can transform into a frog and then use your tongue to swing on those large dragonflies. from the gate.
then use your tongue to swing on those large dragonflies. by the nightmare creature.
rifts, and we can rebuild the rift and continue to chase pins and needles. Whatever you do, don't look down! You must defeat these nightmare creatures before you can advance! Hurry, Tech! Look down!
quick about attack. I think I see an exit up ahead. Yes, we've arrived at the Wonderland. Many an ancient traveler has lost the way or fallen to the doom. Watch your step.
this big steam vent could really launch a squirrel pieces of the rift inside those vents.
catch the rift, Tack. to catch that wind, or we're goners!
<laughs> Not now, Needles. We have to get the staff to Playlock. Aw, is the little Juju doll scared of me? Needs his mommy pins to protect him? <laughs> Needles, don't listen to him. He's just trying to wind you up. Come on. What's the matter, Needles? Cat got your tongue? Or did somebody sew your mouth shut? Come on, Jabulba. They'll run forever if we can't get him to stand and fight. I don't. Pins is a, a poopy head. Ha! Bacock! 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 Nice one. Okay, let's get it on! Take cover! They're shooting from inside the rift! Attack. Now we can restore the staff and return it to its rightful owner. Okay, everybody, you might want to take cover. Prince Locke is here to free the beautiful princess. Yeah! Locke, there is no princess. <laughs> Don't fool yourself. Of course there is. Why else would we come all this way? Well, I guess it's up to me to rescue her and perhaps take her as my bride. Oh, 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 oh! Me too! Me too! Me too! Did somebody drop this cool stick? May I have that, please? Sure. No! no! <laughs> Fools! Now I am the master of nightmares. All the world will know and fear the great shaman, Playlock! <laughs> Tech! You must recover the staff! But how will you defend yourselves against these creatures? You must stop Tlaylock! Go! Don't worry! Locke and I can deal with them. Uh, yeah. Get that staff!
This staff has opened the way, Tack. The world of nightmares will spill through into our world. All of humankind will fall asleep. So, everybody's asleep, then what? As more and more people fall asleep, the collective dream energy will grow greater and greater and make me, he who wields the staff of dreams, the most powerful being in either the waking or dreaming world. But you only have half of the staff of dreams. Once you stop asking me so many questions, I'll take the other half from you. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Yes, I... Oh, shut up! Who's gonna make me? Me? Oh, yeah? You and what army? Who told you about the army? Fluffy, bring in the girls. Stop that. It's all over now. It's been a long and arduous journey, full of hardship and self-sacrifice. But we did it! Now we need merely to return the Staff of Dreams to the Dream Guardian and go home. Before we go, aren't you going to introduce us to your buddy there? Who? What buddy? Your hand buddy. Hand buddy? But I just defeated you! By defeating me in the real world, you helped me to become a creature of the nightmare world. I have become more than a man with the body of a sheep, Tack. With the power of this stuff, I can become whatever I want to be. And what I want to be is your complete and total destruction. Well, duh. I have a staff, too.
Uh, sorry about that whole beating you up thing earlier. <laughs> Your quest is over, Tack. I'm proud of you. Couldn't have done it much better myself. Time to party! Hey, what is this? We were done! Over! You are vanquished! I now know that I can never defeat you. For you truly are the great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people's prophecy. So, if you can't defeat me, and I've stopped you from taking over the world, why am I here? I cannot defeat you directly, Tak. But now, I see another way. I know your weakness, Tak. I know your greatest fear. Do you? Indeed. You are weak because you care for your pathetic friends. And once they are destroyed, you no longer have any reason to fight. Tulelok, you truly are my worst nightmare. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Welcome to the end game. <clears throat> Your life or his? You know, you're really starting to irritate me, boy. Ouch. Ouch. I assume you feel like a real man now. Wake up, Tack! Wake up! You've been asleep for too long! Is it over? Am I still in the dream world? Tack, you've been asleep for 16 days. I think you've been in the dream world long enough. Not long enough to hook the lock up with that princess you kept mumbling about. What are you planning on taking your next nap anyways? But, was it all just a dream? It seems so real, Jaboba. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Why don't you tell us all about it on the way back to the village? It was very weird. There were nightmare creatures everywhere. Oh, and Tlaylock was at the head of an army of evil sheep. Evil sheep! Ha 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 ha!